Building an effective note-taking system can help us organize our ideas and be more effective and impactful in our work. If you're new here, my name is Matt and I'm a university professor, and I'm on a deep dive into building systems for discovery. I've recently found network note-taking software like Obsidian and am exploring how this can help us come up with better ideas. In this video, we will explore how files can be attached and embedded within our notes to preserve where they come from or to enhance our notes in this system. Let's see what this is all about. Today, we are exploring essays 16 through 20. In the last video, I made a table of contents to help organize our growing number of essays. To save time, I've already added these essays to my table of contents and also cut and paste the raw text into my knowledge graph. You can go ahead and do that now and then unpause the video and join us back for the task today, which is going to be to embed different file types to capture important information within our note-taking system. In essay number 16, entitled, Why Bryson DeChambeau Wins, David discusses this up-and-coming golfer who is using various tools in order to master the game of golf. You can see here, this is a unique style of essay compared to some of David's other ones, and is more of a tweet storm style, where he has several different key ideas incorporated within this long essay. If we scroll down, you can see I've added some markdown formatting, as I showed you in a previous video, to help organize some of these ideas. And if we go all the way to the bottom, you can see that there are 23 unique ideas that David says are why Bryson DeChambeau is winning. If we go back, though, to the original essay, what we can see is that there are several different uh, types of media embedded within this. So you can see that there's PDFs and there's some tweets that are embedded. And this is really a rich um, essay with a lot of additional media content. Unfortunately, this would take a long time to drag and drop and embed the different media into our raw note. What I've decided to do instead is make a PDF of this document, and I can then drag and drop this into my note to preserve some of this content. So let's see what that looks like. If I go maybe down to the bottom, I could do something like maybe original PDF. And just like we discussed when we are embedding an image, we can simply drag and drop this PDF into our, our note. And so two things have happened when we do this. The first is a special notation, which is exclamation point, bracket, bracket, the name of the file, bracket, bracket. The second thing that has happened is the file was copied over to our attachments folder. If we look here, we can see we have a PDF called Why Bryson DeChambeau Wins. And this now is uh, copied into our Obsidian folder. This should look familiar because the way that we link notes to other notes is with this bracket bracket notation. This exclamation point in the front is the way that we say, we don't just want to link these, we want to embed them. And I'll show you two more examples of this in just a moment. But if we now go in this note, up to our preview mode, we can see that we have our original PDF, and then we have this link here. And if we click on open in default app, we can see that we will now open up this PDF in, in this case, preview, which now captures all of the original information and all of the rich media that David has embedded within this essay. I want to show you one last thing before we move on to the next example. If we go back to our edit mode, and we remove the exclamation point at the front, this is now going to not be embedded. This is going to just be a link. If we now go up to preview mode, we can see that this is a link and it's not going to be embedded. PDFs in Markdown files don't look that different. In this case, we have a link versus an embedded PDF. Well, in the embedded PDF, we really just have this block which represents the embedded PDF. So this isn't going to make much of a distinction for a PDF. But in the next example, I want to show you the key distinction between an embed and a link to an attachment. Next, I want to show you how to embed a note within another note. This is going to be a really important and powerful idea. Let's navigate now to essay 17, Avoid Cliché Ideas. In this essay, David describes how when we see written cliches, some part of our brain turns off, we skim over it because it's familiar and tired. He claims the same thing can happen with cliched ideas. When we come across these ideas that are too general or too well known, our brain shuts off 
and we don't engage with the content. Therefore, as a writer, David is making the case that we want to avoid cliched ideas in order to allow readers to engage with our ideas more deeply. One of the ways that he describes doing this is to use your voice, to use some differentiation, to use your unique view on the world, to provide some nuance, some context, and some surprise to your writing. So if we come down, I found a point here that uh, in the essay is written, avoid cliche ideas by writing about a familiar subject from a new angle. I think that this is really familiar. In fact, in one of the early essays when David talked about finding your own voice, this resonated with me as something that he said previously. And so I talk about differentiation. So differentiation is this idea where you can provide your unique context on this. So now if we link this to differentiation, we can see that in the differentiation note, I wrote that differentiation is taking an old idea, but putting a new twist on it. We can see that this is related to bringing unique dessert. That was one element or one place where David talked about this differentiation context. And we have another one here. But what we might do is we might then say, well, differentiation and having a voice is really a similar idea. So maybe we want to include voice within this differentiation note. Well, the way that we would do that is again, the exclamation point here is the way that we indicate to Obsidian that we want to embed a file. Next, we will add bracket bracket, something that looks familiar, and then we want to add voice. So I'm going to add just above this, bracket bracket voice, and let's see what the difference is now by adding the exclamation point. This top one should be a link to the voice note. The bottom should be embedding the voice note. So let's just take a quick look at what voice is. Voice is you already have a unique voice, writing gives you a voice and so on. So now if we come back to our differentiation note and we click on preview mode, we can see that we have two things. This voice is a link to the voice note. This is embedding the voice note within our differentiation note. This is what I want here. So I wanna add something like um, differentiation. Voice is going to be an important point of differentiation. Maybe that's what I wanna say. Voice is an important uh, maybe element of differentiation. And maybe I'll like add a little bit of markdown uh, formatting to it. And then I add a uh, voice there. Uh, maybe I'll take off the, the formatting. So, so what I have now is when I'm in preview mode and I'm reading about differentiation, I can see voice is an important uh, element of differentiation. And it's really, it's not just that they're linked, they're almost like similar ideas. And it's because of their similarity, we want to um, capture one note within another. The concept of having an atomic note, a note that is distilled down to its most simple elements is going to be useful because we can then use those notes to build different ideas and different types of, of writing and different essays. In future videos, we'll dive into how we can use these seeds to grow an essay. But what I want to show you just in this video is how to include and embed a note within a note. The last example I wanna show you is how to embed an audio file into a note. Let's now jump ahead to essay number 20. In this essay, David describes how writing while you read can help you come up with better ideas. So here I have essay number 20, if we jump ahead. We can see that David makes the case that make your reading more productive by taking notes while you read. This is one of the key ideas about the journey that I'm on and that you are all along with me is that taking better notes can help us come up with better ideas. So what does that look like? Well, he goes on to say that uh, for writers, reading is much about sparking ideas as it is about consuming information. He goes on to write, if you read good books, you'll have your best ideas while you read. To me, this makes me think of discovery. So if I can press this down about having your best ideas while you read, it makes me think of a note about discovery. So I made such a note. And in there, I say, using experiments or experimentation to discover. Um, and I say this can happen while reading, while writing, speaking, or listening to podcasts. In fact, many times 
whether we are a student listening to a lecture, uh, we are consuming some information on YouTube, or whether we are uh, listening to a podcast, we might want to capture that audio along with a note for either posterity, because we want to know where it came from, or because we think that this is going to be really rich and important that can help us provide context to this atomic idea, to this atomic note. Okay, so as an example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add a file that has an MP3 of some audio that is going to then be related to discovery. So it turns out this is perfect timing because I have recently started a podcast called Eureka Stories where we are exploring the ideas and the systems surrounding the discoveries of some of the greatest scientists in the world. We have recently released a teaser episode, and our first episode should come out in the middle of December in 2020. So I'm going to add the teaser episode here. I've downloaded the MP3 from it, just like you could download an MP3 from any podcast file that you're listening to. So as before, I'm going to drag and drop this MP3 file into this note. And you should see some familiar notation. You could see an exclamation point, bracket, bracket, and then the name of a file. If we navigate over to our attachment directory, we can see this MP3 file is also there. So we'll maybe sort of add a header here. We'll say Eureka Stories Podcast Teaser. This is just the teaser episode. Now, if we go to preview mode, let's see what this looks like. This should be a little bit different. In this case, what we have now is the audio that is directly embedded into our note. So if we could play, we should be able to listen to the audio. Let's listen to this first part. I wanted to live. I wanted to breathe. I wanted to aerobicize. He's alive. Alive! If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. What would you little maniacs like to do first? It's all in the name of science. That was just a fun little intro that we have for the teaser. So this is a powerful way that we can capture audio from various sources and embed them directly into notes. There's one last thing I want to show you here. If we go back to our edit mode, I want to take this and I want to now take off the exclamation point. I want to compare what it looks like to link a file versus what it looks like to embed a file. If we go back to preview mode, we can see that if we link, this is just going to link to the file name. And if we click on it, it's going to then uh, link to that file. But embed means we're not linking out to that file. We're taking that file and pulling it into our note. That's the power of incorporating some of these different media types into our notes directly. There's one last thing that I want to show you. I only reviewed a couple of different file types that can be embedded. If we head over to the Obsidian Help Vault and we go to Embed Files, we can see that several different types of files can be embedded. If we look down here, we can see that Obsidian recognizes markdown files. This is essentially a note being embedded within another note. We see some image files, PNGs and JPEGs. We see audio files and then PDFs. It says everything except for PDFs can be embedded. We saw that because the PDF was not embedded itself. It was just a link to the PDF. And so then you can start to see the power of embedding these different types of notes within Obsidian. So that's it. That's the simple but powerful way to take files and embed them into your note-taking system. This can help you preserve ideas, the origin, the sources, and really generate this rich environment for you to explore. If you like this video, let us know. If you want to see more videos in the series, go ahead and hit subscribe. That's a light bulb in the corner, and you'll be alerted when we have more videos on this topic. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.